Hello YouTube, this is another video of a role playing game topic. I've been watching my uh, colleague at YouTube called Tetsubo and he did 30 questions about role playing. So, got me thinking and I got a list and now I'm going to try to answer them too. So, first of all thank you Tetsubo and now let's go for the questions. Question number one, how did you get started? When? was it? It was a long time ago my first year of actually real role playing started my first year of high school when I bought the box set introduction to Dun Advanced Dungeons and Dragons game and got some friends from my class to play with me I always wanted to play before but I never could find role playing games because I live in Croatia and those were not common and the entire society of role-playing gamers were, was not widespread I didn't know any so I had to get that box and that's how I started out question number two favorite playable race I don't know I think I mostly go with humans because you know just the options are awesome uh, sometimes I like to play uh, some characters that are, I don't know, um, hobbit types, hobbits, or you know, halflings, something like that, or the similar, but mostly humans. Uh, what is uh, question number three? What is your favorite class? Well, my favorite class, actually, you would not say, but it's a cleric. It's a cleric because it gives you options of unique world view and trying to um, kind of justify anything that happens around you uh, and you know by using that unique view although I uh, really like uh, fighting classes so fighter is also high on my list question number four what is your favorite game world well here my thoughts are divided because uh, I like fantasy so I role played a lot of um, uh, Forgotten Realms and a lot of a lot of Ravenloft. Actually, even made a realm of my own that we used to play. Uh, but I'm here be uh, in between of Ravenloft and the World of Darkness because I used to play a lot of World of Darkness and Vampire, especially. So yeah, kind of between those two. What is your question number five? What is your favorite set of dice? Well, actually, I have them right here. Uh, these. I got the standard uh, fantasy role playing D and D set. Uh, this is D twenty. This is D twelve. Actually, as you can see, they're huge. They're really, really big. They make a lot of noise on the table. And actually, I love them. And because they're really huge, you can always see the number. You can even, if you're, if you don't have a table, if we're role playing on the floor, you can see them, and you don't lose them that easily. And sometimes a joke, you can even throw it at the players if you like. So, yeah. <coughs> Question number six: What is your favorite deity? Uh, well, I like different sorts of pantheons, uh, and there were a lot of different deities uh, so I'm just gonna split these on this one too so first one I, I liked I quite liked the mischievous kind of a traveling good luck sort of a but kind of good-natured gods uh, from fantasy games but also I played a lot of Call of Cthulhu so yeah you can guess <clears throat> question number seven what is your favorite edition my favorite edition of what Okay, let's say my favorite edition is uh, I did a lot of AD&D, so that was like my uh, favorite from you know kind of childhood memories and everything. Uh, but my favorite edition actually is, uh, except for for D20 set of rules, is Vampire: The Old World of Darkness. I kind of yeah really like that storytelling kind of a you know okay <clears throat> question number eight what is the favorite character you played 
Well, the favorite character I played was actually a police officer. Uh, in we used to play in a D and D. The setting was Eberron, and he was a constructed person. He was a construct uh, called the Warforged, and he crafted his number into his name, so his name was Slavin. Uh, from seven, uh, and um, he was uh, kind of bent on being a police officer of a sort. Uh, didn't always work out, but it was great just, you know, going through the world with a person who's only three years old and doesn't really understand everything, although he's really trying to grasp as fast as he can all of the things around him so he can be a functional part of um, the community and a functional part of the group. Uh, question number nine. What is the favorite character you haven't played? Uh, well, I had this macabre uh, kind of a idea about a uh, half ogre creature that actually was uh, stolen as a baby and uh, by slavers and uh, trained for pit fights. Uh, Ill illegal pit fights, of course, and he was kept in the attic, so that kind of he, he embraced that name, Attic. And Attic was huge and monstrously strong, but had a brain and a reasoning of a small child. He did not understand practically anything, and there was this entire story about him and how he got free and how he actually while role-playing that character I would need a handler somebody who would lead my character all around because it was a grotesque creature with a kind of a really you know interesting story okay question number 10 what is the craziest thing that happened yeah there were a lot of crazy things and since I don't want my account to be blocked because of the use of profanity or um, you know uh, grown-up themes I'm not gonna mention those there were some crazy good things there were some crazy bad things that happened but I'm not getting into that <coughs> so um, question number 11 what was the favorite adventure you ran um, actually my favorite adventure that I ran except for the vampire uh, storyline that I really liked. Uh, there was a really, really very special, very dear to me story arc that I made myself uh, uh, and it was based in the Ravenloft setting. And all of the characters in there, playing my friends, all of the characters in there uh, were a small circus troupe that went from village to village and somehow they got um, kind of um, I don't know <laughs> a lot of things happened uh, with a, a lot of weird people they kind of ended up in inheriting a castle and becoming lords of the uh, of certain realm and uh, such and such but it was really really fun time with with those guys Okay, uh, what is the favorite dungeon type? Favorite dungeon type? Um, actually, anything that can be used as an isolation horror kind of a trope. Anything that can be really mysterious and really kind of uh, has that desperate feeling of being cut off from the entire world and being on your own and have to think or smash your way through this and survive. Okay, uh, favorite trap, question number 13. Favorite trap, I actually like the big kind of a floor with certain symbols that they have to decipher when they, and if they step on the wrong kind of a plate then something it falls through or spikes come out through the wall or you know there's a signal alarm with a sonic burst or something I like the, those kind of a you have to think about the puzzle and then you have to translate the puzzle and then you have to find the path which is the fault it's a little bit tacky but I love it uh, <clears throat> question number 14 what is your favorite NPC? favorite NPC well, uh, let's say uh, the tavern holder from the last adventure that I had. 
It was a really kind of a gruff character, kind of a hick hillbilly uh, kind of a person, and in Croatian language he, spe he spoke with this hard accent, and uh, it, it, it had a lot of laughs. It got a lot of laughs, but also it was a kind of a serious, down-to-dirty business type. So, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, question number 15. What is your favorite monster type? Favorite monster type? I don't know, probably would be the undead. Probably. Um, question number 16. What is your favorite uh, aberration? Uh. I, I seriously I don't know and I could not say um, question number 17 what is your favorite monster animal favorite monster animal actually um panthers big cats big large enlarged cats because they're uh, very kind of sneaky they're huge they're powerful they're very very dangerous but very sneaky they can be really really silent um, uh, question number 16 what is your favorite monster plant favorite monster plant I don't know I haven't put that much thought into it uh, question number what, 20 or something what is your favorite monster humanoid uh, orcs orcs just you know just work for me and uh, they have this w when you get into it they have this entire uh, clan structure and uh, moral structure and view worldview, and which is completely, you know, t t twisted and and to us and debased and kind of, you know, that's the way they live. And uh, just kind of interaction between them could be could be used in, in a very interesting way. <clears throat> Next question. What is your favorite dragon color? I don't have to say, I mean, well, most people say red because it's classic. Like a red dragon, yeah. Red dragons are cool, but I like black. Black acid spitters. They're, they're just, you know, ah, <laughs> they're bad. <clears throat> what is your favorite monster at all? What is my favorite monster at all? Well, I played a lot of Call of Cthulhu, so tentacle monsters creep me out. So any, anything tentacly, <laughs> just you know, kind of yeah. <clears throat> Next question: What is your favorite energy type? What's my favorite energy type? I don't know. Lightning. Lightning could be I don't know, electricity, probably. <clears throat> Next question. What is your favorite magic item? I don't know about favorite, but I, I always liked that uh, returning stuff of returning. Stuff that you kind of throw back and then it returns to your hand. Kind of really cool. And I have to say that I read Thor a lot and probably that's where it comes from. <clears throat> Next question. What is your favorite non-magic item? non-magic item except for swords and axes and hammers you mean uh, generally weapons weapons can be used but also non-magical item cloak cloak a good cloak could really be used in a lot of lot of ways <clears throat> okay next question Ca what is the character you want to play in the future character I would like to play in the future I didn't know I had an idea about a few characters first of all a uh, bard who would sing actually popular tunes but in a very bardic way you know kind of when casting something you'll have to sing what it is so you know all of the group kind of goes into battle and I start singing the final countdown or something I think that would be really cool um, <clears throat> what, next question. What is the character you will never ever play again? Never ever play again. Well, uh, it really depends. Uh, really depends of the people who I'm playing with. So um, actually, I'm. I have decided not to make. Just kind of check out the situation, get a feeling from it, and. Um, 
not to make a too dark characters for let's say a fantasy campaign or a kind of a you know happy little you know, boozers for uh, kind of really dark horror campaigns and such <clears throat> uh, next question number you most roll on a d20 could not really say let's see uh, 4 17 15 I yeah I don't I don't really remember those things so and the last question what I who is the best game master that you have ever played with well I have played with a lot of game masters and I'm a game master myself I like game mastering because it uh, offers me the opportunity to play NPCs non-playing characters and to describe the atmosphere and to you know just really get into it and also draw cool maps and handouts and stuff and um, the greatest role play uh, the greatest game master from guys I should probably say that would be the greatest game master would be um, I don't know, it's a tough choice. Well, 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 let's see. I don't know, from guys, I think that my favorite game master would be my friend Tom. He's a pretty good game master. He has kind of a frustrating way of um, letting people decide and uh, find out for themselves and he doesn't push the clues onto you or railroad, railroad you into decisions. From girls actually I played with Zrinka and uh, I think she's possibly the only female game master I had. Uh, yeah, well long time and of course I have to deduce in the end uh, it was my friend Rule who is absolutely and utmostly the best ever that I have met in the basements where we play. And here's to you. Awesome. So yeah, um, hopefully you will get these questions yourself so you can answer them. And I would really like to think and I would really like to know uh, what are your answers to these funny questions and half of these I didn't even you know think them through but okay what do you think